Okay. Ah! Girl, I didn't even know what to say. Like, I was not expecting that. I am snatched. What up, hunty? Welcome to Way of Yow. I want to start off by thanking every single one of you that click onto this video. It is extremely helpful, and if you're not already a part of the family, then make sure to hit that subscribe button as well so that you can keep up with all of the latest activities. And if you find this video helpful, make sure to hit that like button as well. Now, we are going to get into the video. Whew, I am so excited, like, Riri pulled through. She snatched my life. She snatched my existence. She left me with nothing, like, bitch! Like, this is just everything. So, basically, as you can see, I am completely shirtless, and that is because I'm gonna be testing her foundation, the darkest color. That is really gonna help uh, my melanated sisters and brothers out there who are quite dark, just to give you more of a reference. So I wanna see if the darkest shade is actually dark enough for my skin tone. In the past, I have used MAC um, NW58, which is their darkest shade, and it was a little bit too light for me. So we're gonna see how this one works on my deep, dark skin tone. Hopefully it's amazing, and I also have her highlighter. So I'm gonna start off by showing you guys the products. So this is the foundation here. It comes in this packaging. To be honest with you, I don't think it's like really exciting. It's like, what the fuck can you say? It's like black and white, bitch. There's not much to say now. And this is what is inside of the box. This is the color of the foundation. Now I'm gonna be honest with you. It does not look like it is gonna be that dark. This is in the color 490. By looking through the bottle, it doesn't look that dark to me. So we are gonna see how it matches up with my you know, skin here, and I do often have problems with making sure that my face matches my neck simply because stuff is just very, very, very light, and I just find it quite difficult. Ah! But yeah, and I'm gonna show you guys the highlighter as well. Once again, we've got the black and white packaging, and it says Fenty Beauty by Rihanna. Yes, Queen. This is in Trophy Wife. Listen, girl. Snatch my whole entire existence. I saw this alone and I was showing my mom and she was like, the packaging alone looks so good. Like, girl, she came through, it's like an octagon sort of, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, it's got eight sides, so it's a fucking octagon, bitch. And it's like a pearl sort of finish. You probably can't see it from the packaging, but it is gorgeous. Girl, I hope you guys can actually see it, like, I, when I saw, listen, I was seeing it online and I was like, girl, it probably ain't gonna be that deep. It's loads of good lighting. People are just making it look sickening by putting like 10 flash torches because we know that that's what some of these people be doing out here. But listen, girl, when I saw this in real life, in the shop, the woman opened it. Oh my God, heaven. Never seen a highlight as sickening as this. And then I came home, opened it, and once again, I was you know, just amazed by the glory of Robin Fenty. She has just snatched my existence and I don't even know what to do at this point. Like, go! So as usual, we're gonna use the Nivea cream. So yeah, I only bought the products that I gravitated towards. So I didn't get the primer, I didn't get um, the cream concealers and contours. And listen, girl, I'm good for all of that. What I wanted to try was that golden shimmery highlight and the, um, foundation because a lot of people with 40 foundation shades go she better come through that better be dark because for 40 shades the darkest one should actually be darker than me it should not match me it should be darker than me okay so sis i'm expecting this to be darker than me but looking at the bottle girl i'm having doubts i'm having a few doubts i'm not gonna lie boo i'm not gonna lie I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> now I'm gonna use my MAC Fix Plus. So I'm basically doing what I would usually do in order to prep for a foundation so that, you know, it's fair and it actually has a chance to look good. Now I'm gonna go ahead and use a little bit of primer. This is the Optical Illusion Primer from Urban Decay. I'm just gonna pop a little bit on. I'm giving Robin Fenty, I'm giving her a moisturiser, I'm giving her some more moisture, I'm giving her a primer. So this foundation better look cute, it better look smooth, it better be snatched. 
Because, God, I'm helping you out here. I thought, like, you know what, let's give this thing a chance. See what it's saying, sis. And like I would do for any other foundation, I'm going to spritz my sponge with a little bit of that Fix Plus as well. It says to shake well, actually. So I'm going to shake it. Now I'm going to take two pumps onto my finger. And now I'm going to blend that out. Now first impressions, I would say it is a little bit light for me. It is also a little bit red, but I'm not, you know, I'm not too sad about the redness. The redness is okay. I really don't mind that. Because most of the time I put so much stuff on top of it. Okay, this foundation is definitely matte. Definitely matte because I did moisturize a lot. And as this is setting, it is looking a lot more matte than my other foundations do. So girls out there, girls and boys, I've got to remember the boys now as I am a boy. Boys and girls out there, if you have oily skin, you are going to love this foundation. It is actually quite matte. But it is blending out really nicely. It is blending out really nicely. I'm not mad about this at all. But I feel as though it's only because I really did moisturise my skin that well. If I were to not moisturise my skin as well as I did, girl, this foundation would not move, I feel, because I can see places where it's trying to stay. It's trying not to, like, blend out. But on the coverage, I would say... I'd say, I would say that it's like a medium to full coverage. It's definitely buildable, definitely buildable. So I'm gonna add a little bit more directly onto my sponge. I'm gonna place that under the eye area. So now that it is all set into my skin, I would definitely say that it is a very nice match in comparison to my neck. It's almost as though it got a little bit darker as it's set in, which I really, really do like. It is a nice deep dark foundation for us melanated beauties out there. And I'd also say it doesn't leave the skin too dry. It still gives it a little bit of a satin sort of finish. So it still has a little bit of a glow. So that is gonna be nice for people with, you know, dry skin. It is gonna give you a little bit of a glow still. So what I'm going to do now is highlight a little bit. I'm going to use my regular concealer and I'm going to set it with some powders and then I will be back to show you how the highlighter looks and I will give you my verdict on that as well. Perfect. So now I have blended out my concealer and set everything with some powder. It is time to get into the highlight. I'm going to use my fan brush. I don't usually say what brush I use but this is the Morphe G2 six or two eight it is rubbed out so I'm just trying to see it's a really nice fine brush the only one I ever use now you guys know that I live for a highlighted chin so we are gonna see what it does okay ah! girl I didn't even know what to say look I was not expecting that no I'm gonna need something else to blend that out no, 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 no. That is pig- Riri, you got me fucked all the way up. That is pigmented. A different fan brush. Wow. Wow, she- She didn't come to play. Riri, you disrespectful girl. Oh my god, listen, I wasn't even ready. I just want to try a little bit on the collarbone. I'm getting so excited. Oh, Riri, I don't even know if you guys can see the glowage of that. Anywho, so now I'm going to hit the cheekbone. It's hard to see how much you've actually got on the brush. Oh, Rihanna. Rihanna. Sorry, like, I sound like I'm being so dramatic, but I've actually never seen a highlighter like this in my life. It is like a golden... Such a deep gold that it almost looks green. It's like a golden, yellow, greeny, ever, almost like it's iridescent. This, this is not 
This is not, girl, this is not an everyday highlight. This is like coming to wreck your home, snatch your daddy, snatch your brother too while I'm at it, bitch. Like, Rihanna. Now I'm going to switch over to a different brush for my nose highlight. To be honest with you, I wouldn't usually use such a golden highlight for my nose, but, I'm just going to show you guys how it looks and I'm not going to lie, already I can see that that is way too much for my nose. I prefer something with more of like a rose gold sort of finish, it just blends with my skin a lot nicer. I don't like having a strip of gold. I already have a little bit of um, highlight underneath my brow because of my eye makeup because you can never get too much highlight. Oh my god! Fenty! Yes. She came through, she came through. So now I'm gonna use it for my upper lip because you guys know I love to highlight that. That has done the job. And then I like to take a lipstick to carve that out so I'm gonna do that now. Perfect, and the lips are complete. Now, prior to using this highlight, I have not been able to find a single highlighter that can really give me the pigment that I want on my top lip. I always have to go for a loose pigment, but this highlighter has done the motherfucking job. And my verdict on the two products I have tried is that they are absolutely gorgeous. The foundation is really nice. It's really nice coverage as well. It is buildable. If you want less coverage, you can just put less. If you want more, just put a little bit more and you will be snatched. If you are an oily girl or boy, you are going to love this foundation. It is going to keep you matte. Whereas if you are a little bit more dry, you might want to moisturize just a little bit more to make sure that the foundation is nice, blends out, and you don't look too wrinkly and old. But I really do like it, and I am more on the dry side. You're just going to make sure you moisturize, baby girl. And the color of the foundation was really nice as well. I would say that it is a pretty nice match with my neck. Even when I put some highlight, set it with powder, it's still a pretty nice match. So I am in love with that about the highlighter Pigmented to the gods and goddesses fucking amazing. Am I gonna wear this every day and no spells? No I mean, I like to snatch I like to snatch your vision and shit, but girl for every day It's 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 it's, it's not gonna happen like this is a bit much under all the light and It looks really bright really shining and stuff like that but the, when I leave the light, it does leave a little bit of a cast, but it is still really beautiful. I'd say apply a little bit less and you can get away with using this every day, but this is definitely very pigmented. I've never tried a highlighter that is as pigmented that is like a pressed highlighter. Um, loose pigments, of course, you can get like really pigmented ones, but something that you could just carry every and anywhere you go. This is bloody beautiful. This is amazing. Like, this is more for an occasion. I won't be wearing this every day. I'm not gonna lie to you. I could use it on my cupids, but every day though, because I love that to be pigmented. I love my chin to be pigmented. So maybe for those, I'll use it. But for the cheekbones, I want something a little bit, little bit more natural, just a tad. I want to thank Fenty Beauty for slaying my existence. These are really, 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 really nice. And yeah, they were both 26 pounds each, which I don't think is bad. The foundation, 26 pounds is really nice. Like MAC is like, what, 30 something pounds. So 26 pounds, I'm not mad at all. And as for the highlight, 26 pounds, I've never spent that much on a highlight before just because I like to stick to my highlighters that I just use all the time. But this is definitely worth it because this I'm not gonna be using every day. So this is gonna hopefully last me a century or more. <laughs> Because listen, the pigment of this is, girl, you do not need to use a lot. You need to use a tiny bit. And that concludes the video. I really hope you guys have enjoyed it. As I said, if you're not a part of the family, make sure to hit that subscribe button so that you can see all of my weekly posts. I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. And I hope I see you in the next one. And on that note, moi.
and stay blessed. Bye guys.